Hey guys, Nate from Richard's Guitar Studio, and today we're going to do uh, three licks that use octave displacement. Basically, we're going to do a, a lick uh, on a low string and then move it up an octave and do the same lick and then move it up an octave and do another lick. So the, we're going to start on A, fifth fret of the low E string, and then the seventh fret of the D string, and then the tenth fret of the B string. So that's going to be the three octaves we're going to we're going to use uh, on the way up. So the lick is five seven eight five seven eight. Go ahead and open up the tabs. Uh, they're linked below, and we can uh, stay on the same page together. So five seven eight five seven eight. Then you're going to move to the seventh fret octave that we did that I showed you, and do seven nine ten seven nine ten. And then 10, 12, 13, 10, 12, 13. See, that's the same pattern, one, three, four fingers, right? So, with the seventh fret, do the same pattern. Tenth fret, same pattern. And then I bend the 15th fret up to A, just to finish it off. So, on the way up. really good way to get a lot of mileage out of one pattern. And then the descending version is starting on the uh, 15th fret G and it goes 15, 13, 12, 15, 13, 12. Notice we're using 4, 2, 1 now instead of 4, 3, 1. You take that same pattern, move it to the 12th fret of the third string and the same thing, 4, 2, 1, 4, 2, 1. Then you move it to the 10th fret on the A string. Four, two, one, four, two, one. And then I like to top it off with an A power chord on the fifth fret. So descending. The whole thing. Strict alternate picking the whole way. Uh, so, okay, the next one we're going to do, uh, look on the sheet there, it's the second one uh, down. It's going to be uh, 5, 7, 8, 5, 7, 8, just like we did before. But then you're going to move up to the 7th fret and do 7, 8, 10, 7, 8, 10. So it's just extending it by one position, the A Aeolian mode and then the B Locrian mode. If you don't know your modes, definitely go learn them. This they'll get, they'll take you a long way. So um, five, seven, eight, five, seven, eight, seven, eight, ten, seven, eight, ten. All right, so we have both of our finger patterns: one, three, four, and then one, two, four. And you do the same thing again on the seventh fret of the D string. Finger pattern is one, three, four, one, three, four. Move it up to the ninth fret. One, two, four, one. Then we're going to do the same thing on the 10th fret A, just like we did before, but extending this with 1, 3, 4, 1, 3, 4, up to the 12th fret, 1, 2, 4, 1, oh sorry, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, bend. Alright, so that last one again, 10, 12, 13, 10, 12, 13, 12, 13, 15, 12, 13, 15. Alright, so the whole thing. So the, oh, I got to do the backwards version now. So uh, starting on tw uh, 15th fret, the backwards version is just the same thing reverse. So 12, or sorry, 15, 13, 12, 15, 13, 12, and then move over to the 13th fret, 13, 12, 10, 13, 12, 10. Sorry. Same thing here, 12th fret, pinky, and we do fingers 4, 2, 1. And then we go to the 10th fret and do 4, 3, 1. Then you do the same thing on the last. 
last octave, 10th fret of the A string, same fingers, 4, 2, 1, and then 4, 3, 1 on the 8th fret. Alright, so the descending version. By doing the octave lick displacement, I got a really long, you know, shred lick just out of one or two finger patterns. So, So that's that one. The last one is a legato lick. And the reason I put this one in here is um, it's got like a 10 note phrase. So basically I want you to sort of float the rhythm. You don't have to do like this one ola, end ola, two ola, end ola, three ola, you know, like working out just exact 16th note triplets. This one you're going to sort of float the rhythm and kind of feel where the beat is, the, the, the downbeat. So this one is uh, 5, 7, 8, 5, 7, 8, same as before, but this time with hammer-ons. 5, 7, 8, 5, 7, 8. Then you're going to shift into that se that second position we did, the uh, 7, 8, 10, 7, 8, 10. And uh, so you shift into it with a slide. Pull off, and that's on the 10th fret. So it's 5, 7, 8, 5, 7, 8, slide to 10, pull off to 7, hammer 8, 10. So that last pattern is 10, 7, 8, 10. So 5, 7, 8, 5, 7, 8, slide to 10, pull off to 7, 8, so everything on that A string, really this, this whole lick only has two picks. Pick, pick. All the rest is legato. Then you go to the seventh fret on the D string, do the same pattern. And then the tenth fret on the B string, same pattern. thing up All right. uh, and then the way down is on the 15th fret 15 13 12 15 13 12 slide to 10 hammer 13 pull off the 12 pull off the 10 so 15, 13, 12, 15, 13, 12, 10, 13, 12, 10. And the next one is 12th fret on the third string. Third string 12, 10, 9, 12, 10, 9, 7, 10, 9, 7. Last one is on the 10th fret on the A string 10, 8, 7, 10, 8, 7, 5, 8, 7, 5. So once you get the pattern, you can kind of like float it with the float it against the beat. the uh, the octave displacement licks um, any questions just um, you know email us or 
comment below and have fun try to work this into a solo you know if you're improvising and then you want to get from this part of the neck to that part of the neck instead of just jumping from here like instead of just moving all the way you can use this to, to connect through So it's a good it's a good connection that that way. All right, have fun.